Welcome back guys, Harry here, Norn and Straight Chop, and in this video we're going to bring back a really really good style of video and this is going to be a back testing my own price action strategy here on GJ. Now you guys like this video, I've done it in the past and uh, you can check them out if you want to. I even did a challenge where I showed you back testing a $2,000 account and growing it to a $10,000 account. So in this video we're going to back test my price action strategy and it's going to be very very helpful for you guys because you're going to see when i come to the charts a fresh chart what is my thought process and i'm going to talk you to through each trade why i'm taking the trade why do i think this makes sense and hopefully the trade plays out and then we end up in profit because that is the goal of trading so these type of videos are going to be much more useful than just teaching you a concept that you have to go apply yourself this is going to be me applying all the concepts that i do show and showing you how they're going to work in basically a real li life situation and this is not going to be live charts because the problem is, is if you watch live streams and stuff like this they normally take one or two trades max so you only get to see but you're going to see a whole week worth of trading in one video so this can show you a lot of repetition and the style of trading so i really hope that this helps with that being said let's get straight into this video see you there So guys, so to begin this video, we're going to pick a random month, so it's not going to be rigged. So we're going to pick a random month, then a random day, and then we're going to go to that day and to that month. And we're going to backtest one week worth of data and see how our strategy holds up and what basically the style of trading, because I trade price action. So how does that work during that week and if we end up in profit, which based on my data, we should. So. So we're going to see if it works and as always guys if you're new welcome to the channel there's tons of content it's basically a free course on the channel please check it out if you're a complete beginner you can see my beginner guide and if you're you know coming back to the channel please show some love and support and leave a like and subscribe i can't tell you how much it helps the youtube channel and get this type of content out to people so they're not busy watching content that doesn't help i designed this to give the highest value possible so if you could do that i would really appreciate it leave any comments down below i'll reply you can follow me on instagram i post video updates trade updates and uh yeah also down below is a discord and telegram group if you have any questions or want to see daily analysis or share your ideas or want feedback on your trades you can join that there and yeah let's go and pick a random month and get straight into this video so pick random month and what month is it gonna come march <laughs> all right so march is uh, gonna be a, a very volatile month here so this is gonna be interesting so we're not gonna do 2022 because that was just a couple of months ago we'll do 2021 uh, let's see what day in March. So I put 1 to 30 here. So let's see what it's going to generate. 3rd of March. So that's what we're going to start on. And yeah, let's let's go ahead and start on that. So right here, we're going to have GBP, JPY. We're going to go to the 3rd of March, 2021. So 2021, March and the 3rd. So that's going to be Wednesday we're starting from. Start with a $10,000 account here. Uh, everything's fine. Initial history on charts, we'll put maximum. And yeah, let's start simulation. So I'm gonna add all of the time frames that we need and then I will catch up with you guys. All right, so I have it all set up here. So these are the charts set up and uh, we need to do the top down analysis because we need to see what's happening in the markets here and we need to analyze from the top down and see where we are, what's our positioning. Over here, we have news here on the left here we have our trades when we will be trading we can make this a bit wider actually so when we'll be trading here will be all our trades so we can see what's going on with the trades our pnl will also be here you can see our equity is ten thousand. then this is the session we're trading so we're going to be doing london session so that being said let's skip to london session and start our analysis so here we go so we have what we need to do first oop i need to bring that back so what we need to do first here is we need to mark out this monthly resistance here that we're tapping. So we're going to right click here, object list, and we're going to mark that out monthly resistance. So we know what that is, MR, monthly resistance. Now we're going to go on the weekly time frame. need to clone that. So now let's go on the weekly time frame. And before I get questions of what software, this is called Soft4FX, and it is a backtesting software that you guys can also have a free version and there's a paid version. I'm not affiliated with them, so yeah. There's no link down below. So this is going to be our uh, horizontal line properties. This is going to be our weekly resistance. So now I'm just marking out the support and resistance I see. 
areas of potential if we look at our market positioning we're quite high in the market so to expect more continuation is going to be a little bit tough but it is possible right so let's see now on the daily what information we have right so on the daily this is going to be now uh basically where we start to look at our possible setups here because weekly will only change once a week monthly will change once a month but the daily will change every single day so we can see how we're rejecting at this and we have a daily resistance up here so we're going to mark this as daily resistance all right so now we mark that as the daily resistance now we have all of our zones starting to come nicely into place and we know exactly where we're trading here so now we need to see what's going on on the four hour time frame here so four hour time frame we have this four hour resistance which is basically acting like daily resistance we have a support down here you know four hour is bullish here coming into our session daily is also closing bullish but with a rejection but this can give us an opportunity for buys if we're going to get if we flip and get above here i think we have an opportunity for buys why because daily is still bullish four hours showing bullish there's nothing that's telling me sales make sense we're at resistance now but that doesn't mean we should sell right because everything is in a bullish posturing we're making high lows everything is heading up so with that information personally we should be looking for buys and that's how it's going to work so possible buys are going to come above this zone i think if we get above this zone we should have an easy shot for buys so see what 30 minutes is telling us here so yeah above here looks pretty good for buys so we're going to play this and i think that could be our option let's just have a quick look at 15 minute yeah that that should be the option for today getting above this zone here would be a good option for buys so I'm just going to draw a box here because this is a little bit higher on the 15 minute. Something like that. I'm going to clone this. And yeah, to save time, so we're not watching a, a one hour video, I'm probably going to skip five minute candles. Once the plan is made, I'm going to skip five minute candles. So buys above this zone here should give us a, a good shot. But here we get the close now. It's pretty high up if we measure stops it might not be as big as we think it is march so 23 pips for a 50 pip target and we have a small resistance here that we're gonna mark so we clone this so clone let's see where we are yeah so i think that should give us a good shot to be honest that's what 15 minutes is saying five minutes it looks okay we might have to pull back a bit but this is the option we have here so we can go ahead i'm trading on a higher risk here five lots Make it more realistic and uh, yeah i recommend if you're beginner trading only one to two percent of your account but here i'm trading about five percent of the account so yeah we take a buy here stop loss below the previous candle here tp will be max tp is all the way up here but we'll see what happens here it's first trade we want to take it easy so yeah it's okay to hold drawdown on this because we're taking the trade on the breakout but this is the option we have coming before pre-london here this is the best place to get in i'm not going to make this video complicated and show you lower lower time frames because on lower time frames you won't have to hold this drawdown so i'm going to skip some candles here so we're not waiting you can see how it's wicking at our entry but again there's no issues yet we're just retesting this is a breakout trade breakout trade you're going to hold drawdown and really there's no issues one hour close bearish if we start breaking the low yeah, it looks troublesome, but the stops are in a good place here. You know, it's, it's really not an issue. We're only down 300 bucks. You know, it's only nothing crazy here. Nothing crazy. And I do think we can still continue to push up. And this is the option we had. And yeah, this is a trade for some reason. We're holding a lot of drawdown, but the idea still plays out. So let's skip some candles and see what happens. So yeah, now we're back in profits, which is good. Finally, getting the push we needed. So let's take note that the the move came here at 920 now this is a nice move pushing really heavy here now remember this resistance we marked out we have to be careful so if we start seeing rejection from this resistance here we can look to close so yeah we closed above so that still looks good i think we can run this and maybe get 10 percent on the account and, and call this a trade so let's slow this down a bit i sped it up too fast let's get 10 percent and you can see here we'll put this we're about 29 pips in profit I think that's a good trade let's let's be greedy and try get this to a thousand bucks and once we're in a thousand bucks uh profit will will close so come on one thousand that's one thousand all right done nice trade right so <laughs> when we close it rejects and uh yeah it's a nice even number and i'm gonna drink some water on that so cheers nice trade look at this <laughs> sniper close 
So yeah, brilliant sniper close, 10% on the account, first trade, great. Now, I don't normally like taking breakout trades, but it's the option we had. I normally wait for a, a retest, but this is March. March can give you heavy pushes, and I know that. And uh, I don't want to miss out on this option. My stop loss, no matter where you entered, okay, this is what you have to understand. If you guys entered after the retest, your stop loss has to be back in the range. You can't be putting your stop loss in here because if, if it's going to retest, it's going to retest the range. So at the end of the day, all entries would have been the same trade. The only other entry I see is this one right here entering here. But again, your stops are in the same place. So at the end of the day, it's the same trade. Maybe you get a slightly smaller stop. But... Yeah, we had to hold a bit of drawdown here, but that's all right. That was the option. The plan was we know the direction. We knew the market was going up today. All we have to do is find an entry. If you're holding a bit of drawdown, so be it. Now, most of my entries, I enter on lower time frames to avoid this type of drawdown, but I don't want to complicate this video. That is my deeper strategy as to how I avoid getting into pullbacks like this. But the base of my strategy is this, right? So that's kind of like perfecting your entry but i don't want to complicate this video otherwise it'll make it super long and yeah let's go to trade number two so we're here day number two the daily has pushed up you can see we rejected yesterday current daily is pushing up trying to fill this wick here all our analysis remains the same you can see how our four hour our markup from yesterday that 15 minute resistance became our four hour resistance we're trying now to push above it so previous four hours bullish daily is still bullish I don't see why we should not be looking continuing the buys. We're in a bullish trend. Buys still make sense till now. So now we're closing above this resistance here on one hour. So that's telling me upside makes sense. This candle looks very, very nice to get a wick fill. How much is this wick fill? What is the time? Seven. What is this? This is a 14 pip wick fill. Uh, yeah, I kind of like what this is looking like. 15. Ah, This is where it gets a bit uh, tricky now. 15 minute has this strong resistance here so i don't really like this resistance uh so we'll probably wait for yeah there's only five pips away if we had a little bit more you know 30 minute does make sense but it's just slightly closing above barely you know so yeah let's play this and see how if we get a pullback this pullback's a little bit deep then flips maybe we can give it a shot based on the one hour so yeah this is what i wanted to see so yeah if this flips now we could probably get in because this is showing us that, you know, we're pulling back, rejecting the top of the range. And how, how big are these stops here? So this is a 14 pips. Yeah, this should be worth it. So this is simple. Closure above this range here. Continuing the move up. 15 minute has created a resistance closed above that resistance. Now, this could be an issue here. But remember, the one hour has closed above. So that's what's very, very important here is the one hour candle is closing above. So... What we're going to do is we're going to put a buy stop here. We're going to put stops below this candle here. Buy stop at the top of the range. And we're going to first target, is, maximum target there. First target is this wick. Because this is the daily wick fill from yesterday, right? So let's see what happens if we flip and get triggered. So we're in the trade now, triggered in. So let's see if we can get this nice continuation here. So now we're pushing up. So we tap that 15 minute resistance and that's where it becomes a problem. Now you expect reaction at this. It's normal to have reaction, but we don't want a rejection. So that's the reaction. Now we don't want rejection. So we're about no pips in profit. So here's the reaction. Now let's see if lower time frame is creating higher support, which we are. No issues here. If we start breaking this high, we should get a good shot. Here we go. So yeah, it, it's, it's playing about here. Good to give it an opportunity. Let's see, 30 minute. See how this 15 minute closes here. 15 minute will close in five minutes. So if this 15 minute doesn't close bullish, I'll just close the trade. So yeah, we're rejecting a lot. This close bullish, but I, I, these rejections are a little bit iffy, but you know, we'll see. When we're about, you know, six, seven pips in profit, I'll probably go break even and leave it break even. So yeah, at this point here, I'm gonna go break even. Why am I gonna go break even? Because of this resistance. We're also buying, the idea of this is trying to get in after this, fill the wick and see what happens. But this could be a whole resistance zone because this is our highs from yesterday. So trading at the highs from yesterday is not necessarily the best thing. But we don't have a choice. This is our session. This is where we come to the charts. And this is trading price action. And when you trade price action, you have to trade what you see. This is the option I see. It's a good option, creating higher support to continue price up. But 
I'm not going to put myself in an unnecessary loss when I have the chance to manage my trade. So I'm making the decision here to go to break even. So it's either we get profits or we go break even. If we go break even, so be it. Well, what's the loss? You don't lose. We look for a better entry. So it's going to look, taps us out at break even here. And we save holding all of this drawdown now. So this is good. Now we can look for this to pull back deeper and get another entry. Our session done here. No trade options today. You can see the wicks very inconsistent. And uh, we have USD news, which could be, you know, the market, you know, we have here uh, Powell speaking. So Powell could have influenced the markets to range a bit because they want to hear his speech. So, yeah, no trade today. And we took one attempt and break even. Still a good result, up 10% for the week. Let's go to the next day. So as you can see over New York, we actually did end up pushing up nicely bullish here. So analysis played out, buys made sense, we pushed up bullish, so that's good to see. But that's not our session, we're concentrating on one session, on, on the London session here. So that's not our trading time, so it doesn't mean you miss your move. In trading, 90% of the time you're going to miss a lot of moves. So daily's bullish, still looking for buys. 4 hour closing bullish, this is our next resistance, so we're at monthly resistance here. So we have to be very careful in this zone. We're buying highs here. So yeah, we have to be super careful. Again, one hour is closing bullish. I don't like buying every single time we've come to the session. We've been at highs. So it's been very tough. You can see it's how tough it's been. Every time we've come to the session, we're at highs. So this session, I think I'm going to personally wait for a pullback. I can't, I'm not buying highs anymore. That is not my trading style. I gave it a shot in the beginning of the week, but now I don't want to buy highs. So what we're going to do is wait for pullbacks to continue price up. So we'll skip some five minute bars to make it quicker. But this is the option here. If we can start breaking above this high, we have the option to continue this move. So this is a definitely an option here, breaking above this high. So what we can do, look at the time. We had the same volume this time. Is We can look to take a trade once we break this high. So we're going to put a buy stop here. I know I said I don't want to buy the highs, but... It's not giving me any options for pullback. So what we'll have to do is uh, looks like we have to keep continuing this move. So, yep, that's what it is. Stop loss is yep 400. And if we break the highs, we should continue up. If not, we'll be safe. So good. Thank you. At least it's giving me a pullback. But we have buy stop in place in case this wants to continue up. If not, we're going to have good opportunity. So speed this up. Well, good. Look, it broke the low here. This trade becomes invalid by accident. I sped it up too fast, but this is good. This is how we kept safe in the trade. And now we don't have to buy highs. So I'm so happy. So now coming into London Open, we can look for support to form and we can retest this high that's been made. So let's see if we get that. Let's skip some five minute candles and see if we get some support here. So maybe possibly a close above this resistance here. We can look for buys and that's going to be the plan. Because we've tried to reject, but we're reject we tried to close above, but we're rejecting now. So plan is gonna be to wait for a closure above here. So we got no closure above. As you can see, no closure. We just rejected. That kept us safe in the trade here. Kept us safe, right? So let's go to the next day. This is a non-trade day again because we're at market positioning is monthly resistance. This is the problem at being at monthly resistance is you're going to get inconsistency. Inconsistency weekly. This is the highest point. So yeah, we picked a date that's a bit tough, but this shows how the strategy works. You know, you don't need many trades. One trade, you know, set us up good, you know. So next day is going to be a Monday. So let's see what happens on Monday. So Monday, we have GBP news at 10 o'clock. So we're not going to trade that GBP news here. Monday, we have GBP news at 10. So we need to make sure to find either a position before 10 o'clock or we don't trade. Daily closing bullish here at the top of the range. We're still stuck in this tough range. Four hours bearish. It's a mixed session. You can argue both buys and sells daily. You know, so sells could be an option. But how we're rejecting this low here, we might push up for the rest of the session here so we have this clear resistance here at the top of the range so possibly here possibly we could be looking for buys above above this area here and this is going to be a, a sort of range trade now trading the range is always tough and uh yeah but we do have you know this is 25 pips that's 40 pips so it is big enough range to trade so yeah if we break above this resistance we have the chance to continue up bullish so skip some candles and see what ends up happening 
and see if we end up closing above there. So no close above. Sells, I'm not comfortable selling into this gap that we have at market open. So yeah, that, that looks pretty good. We created support here. Do we get the close above? What time is this? So, all right, that's the close. So picture perfect. I like this setup here in the range. Clean candles to the left here. As I always teach you about LTAs, we have a range here, 21 pips. Stop loss is going to be 18, 19 pips here. So we're going to take a buy like this. Stop loss. Oops, let me just put that back to where it was. Stop loss is going to go below this candle here, not below this wick because I, I don't really need it below the wick, to be honest. TP, max TP is going to be there. So we're going to take this trade now and see what happens. So take it on the open, open with no bottom wick, which I don't like. But I would prefer to flip first and then continue. So I don't have to worry about it flipping. But it's a time of volume, 8 a.m. That's why I took it exactly on the open, because we get this volume push. So we're about 12 pips in profit here. And at this point here, I'm going to move my stops to break even because there's no point of taking a loss, especially in a range here. We tap this resistance and I think here, okay, I'm going to close. So close it here. I don't see any reason we rejected this resistance. And uh, yeah, I don't want to be in a range. If we get profits in a range, take them, right? We don't need to be greedy. Let's see what would have happened if we were to continue up or not. So yeah, it looks like we wanted to continue up here. We're rejecting. Wick comes down. Yeah, that would have taken me up break even. And then create support and continue back up. Yeah, so we just created a high low. That's a second entry option, but I'm not messing in this range. If you get one win in the range, leave it. So that being said, let's get to the next day here and see if we can take maybe one or two more trades. All right, it's the next day and it looks like we finally pushed out of this range and are above monthly resistance. So I like to see this. This gives me good opportunity for continuation. Buy still makes sense. This is a buying week. Four hours, very bullish. Making a bottom making a bottom wick, which is going to give me... Making a bottom wick, which is going to give me the opportunity to take buys to tap this high here. So let's see the one hour time frame, what information we have. You know, so let's see on the four hour if we have, oops, let me make that back. So we need to mark up some new zones here. So let's see. Okay, I, I scroll back on the four hour and we're fortunate enough to have one big clean range. I'm just going to mark this out because this can be potential trouble in here. So that's going to be marked as marked out here. Object uh, horizontal four. And now let's go and see what opportunity. So one hour pulling back. This looks good. We have a resistance up here. Like this. So if we can create some support, we can look to tap this zone here. So let's see what ends up happening. Skip some candles, 15 minutes. Yeah, so we want to pull back, create support, and then this can be our target now. So that's a very simple setup today. So we need to, here's support being formed. How does it look on 30? I don't like the support. I'm not very comfortable. No top wick at this resistance. Even if it push up, not my trading style. This is giving you very limited information here. So it's not an option. As I said, pushes up here. What was even this? Was it even worth it? You know, nine pips, possibly 16 pips. I rather at this point wait for a close above. So yeah, nothing yet, guys. Nothing yet. So let's skip and see if we get a deeper pullback. Keep it on 30 minutes. This is just messy. This is really messy. Nothing yet. Yeah, we're creating a downtrend here. And yeah, nothing for this session. So this session is another write-off. Nothing for the session. Just ended up ranging down. Did not break above. So let's move on to the next day and call it the last trade. So next day here, daily didn't do anything. Just left a wick. Very boring. Four hour also at resistance now. Very, very boring. One hour is trying to break up, but you can see all these wicks. We have full uh, CPI today, but that should only affect uh, gold, to be honest. So I don't really expect any issues here. This candle is trying to push up now. If this can close bullish, I'll take the trade. And that will be simple. Simply like the one we took before, closing above this range here. If we can close above this range, that's our target. If we measure this, it should be around 20 pips if I'm not wrong. So yeah, that's 19 pips and our stop loss will be a 16 pip stop. This candle will close in two minutes. Actually, no, it won't close in two minutes. This candle will close in two minutes here. 
So yeah, this candle will close in two minutes and we should get the shot. If we close it, okay, there we close above. If we're not gonna have a bottom wick, I need to break the high. I would like to see a bottom wick form, to be honest, before I'm comfortable taking the trade. Okay, so bottom wick is form. If we break this high, I'll actually execute on the trade and press enter. So we haven't broken the high yet and I'll actually leave a buy stop. So when we flip, I can catch this move. So buy stop will be at the high TP anywhere. Stop loss below this structure. If we start breaking this candle low, I could manage. But until then, leave a little bit for spread. That's where I'm going to keep my stop. So let's see what happens. Skip a few five minute candles. Oh, are we going to get triggered? Here we go. Ooh. No, no triggered, not triggered yet. And we close bearish. Trade still makes sense. If we break this high, I will enter. That is my entry position. We should have a 30 minute closing, 30 minute close above. So this looks very nice. We could actually look now if we have this, this becomes a wick fill. So yeah, since it's a range and you can see how we have a high, it pulls back. And uh, until we break that high, we don't have continuation. I'm going to leave stops in this, uh, my entry in the same place. I need to see this high broken before taking an entry. So let's see what happens. Skip. Let's skip a few bars. So here we go. Is this going to trigger us? No, we're pulling back. If this low gets broken here, I might look to delete this, but it's not broken just yet. Almost, almost. But yeah, that's quick rejection, so I'm not going to delete it. Hopefully this can close bullish. If this closes bullish, it might look good. So let's see what happens. Okay, it doesn't close bullish. Uh, did that trigger us? No, we're not triggered yet. So skipping. Okay, we're in. So we've been triggered into the trade here. Same thing makes sense. 30 minute breaking the high. One hour is closing bullish. I don't see why this trade should not work. And yeah, this, this looks good. So breaking the high here. Once we get up to here, probably go break even. Or if we get up to there. So yeah, let's see what happens. Pushing up, pushing up. Six pips in profit at one point. Okay, so now at this point here, it's time to go break even because we're in a range. No point of losing this trade. You can look to get up to this resistance and which is going to be this one hour resistance from yesterday and secure some profit. Let's see if we can get at least 500, 490 to make it worth it. So it's either break even or we have profits that make it worth it. We are pushing to this resistance, so I don't want to I don't want to stretch this more. Probably at this higher look to close see what we get here come on a little bit more three four four hundred thirty four sixty let's see if we if we start rejecting here on on five minute if this five minute starts rejecting it's not gonna look good okay that's not rejecting so what i'll actually do is if we this rebreaks its low i'll just get out and this is micromanagement on this trade so where's my stop loss modify i'll move the stop loss below this low here so this is what we're going to do. And if it re-breaks the low, we're out. If not, we get more profits. There we go, we're out. So that's how you try to grab more and you see you avoid this whole losing profit. Wasn't the great, but guys, we're in a trade here. We're in a range, sorry. And it's it's really tough trading in here, you know. So our entry was at least from the bottom of the range. We grabbed this clean candle. And of course, we hit this resistance up. Oops, don't want to take a real trade. And we hit this resistance here. So that's why we had trouble. And that's what made it difficult. So yeah, that being said, guys, I'm going to end the video here. Hope this helped you guys. Hope you found it informative. And yeah, if you want to see more like this, let me know in the comments below. Take care, trade sharp, and until next time, peace.